Hi, this is Ryan Callahan, the Director of Conservation over here at Meat Eater. Uh, I'm gonna take you through how I like to use the Weston Pro 3000 vacuum sealer. This is the same sealer I have at home. I have a big roast, small roast, then I have the top round that I've broken down into pieces. Let's just take a rough measurement of your roast. So this will be for the little guy about like that. Got my scissors right here. Be sure to set your seal time above zero. I'll probably just go for three seconds. And I'm gonna get started. You can see there's a little bit of liquid in there. Inside the tray, in the vacuum here, there's three holes. And you can't let liquid go into the holes because I have no idea where that goes and how to clean it out. So hit, hit your manual seal. It'll release on its own. And that's all there is to it. And then you push this thing around, you'll notice that there's no air or uh, water or blood or anything running around like crazy. It's a nice, tight little package. All right, so for the next one, I'm gonna do something that has a little bit of marinade in there. All this stuff is gonna go into the freezer immediately. And then when I decide to use it, I'll take it out, put it in the refrigerator. It'll thaw out, and as it thaws out, that marinade will get all into the meat and get all tasty. I'm just making sure that nothing weird got in there, but I pretty much always do this, especially if I'm gonna use a wet brine or a marinade. This one, I'll, because I'm gonna use a lot of liquid and it might get a little bit messy, I'll actually roll the top back. And that's just gonna keep the area that I seal like clean of little chunks of marinade basically. You really don't have to use a lot when you're doing uh, marinades in a vacuum seal because I scientifically there's probably a reason but for me it just like sucks everything right against the meat there's no air um, all the marinade is on the meat all the time so there's a little bit of oregano some lemon thyme some garlic just kind of go on there. so now i roll my bag top back up you see there's plenty of room in here uh, but there's liquid in here too, so that's a bit of a variable, but everything's nice and clean. So I'll just lay this down gently so I don't splash liquid around and seal on the sealer. Okay, so now the liquid's gonna start coming here, racing towards the back seal. Now you can see like your seal's totally clean, and you can just rinse this off all that's left is the big roast so then on this one i'll just start with doing a double seal on this end so there's my double seal i do this all the time for hunting camp meals Again, I just fold it over so that top's nice and clean in case like a big peppercorn or something gets in there and uh, messes with my seal. Big chunk of meat, in the bag we go. Now I'm just gonna scooch it forward. Okay. 
So no matter what, how much stuff you seal, is best to clean your back sealer right away. Uh, you can hit it just really light soap and water and then just really give it a good wipe down with the paper towel. When you hit the power button, it's gonna run that fan until the machine cools down. I will do whole meals for backcountry river trips, horse packing trips, where I will put twice baked potatoes in a back sealed bag, and then a big roast in a back sealed bag, and then uh, peas or asparagus or whatever in a back sealed bag, and then it can all go in a big stock pot full of water and just bring it up to temp, and eventually you have hot food and easy, easy cleanup and a really good meal. So I will clean and reuse my bags. Um, just stretches your dollar and it's better for the environment too. Uh, thanks for watching this quick demonstration. If you have any questions or something to add, be sure to email us.